All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakaf Wadash. That one is to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, taught us the truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother Iwa Lummy from the GMS Chicago branch here in Chicago. I'm back at you with another lesson. And Lord willing, I hope it be yet a fine. You know, I'm just basically taught of this lesson. You know, we suffer many ills to, uh, to get the great W. And what inspired me to do this lesson, you know, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, was the brother GMS KC Living Waters. You know, the title of the video was uh, Loss and Grief to Gain Yahweh Shai. You know, because, well, we take many ills on this side. You know, uh, you know, we lose a lot of things. You know, we might lose family members. You know, that might come up against you because, you know, you're doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. You know, we take, you know, we take many L's. They're not really L's, but to ultimately, you know, to get that great W, you know, so we're going to lose stuff when it's tied. You know, we're going to be, you know, a lot of people is going to attack, you know, our character. You know, people is going to come up to you, uh, come up against you, you know, you know, you're going to suffer in this thing. So lock you. But yeah, you're going to suffer in this thing. But, um, and that's the uh, us suffering many ills. You know, we're going to suffer in this thing, you know, to ultimately get that what? That greater W, which is ultimately salvation and the kingdom of heaven. Uh, let me see. This is uh, the book of 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. It says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Right, on this side that we're going through, the many L's that we take on this side, like I said, it's not really L's, but, you know, we learn from these different experiences, but the L's we do take on this side, you know, it's a light affliction, you know, uh, that you have Hashem Yahusha is putting us through. You know, like I said, you might lose certain things, you know, uh, in this walk. You might lose family, you might lose your wife, you know, you might lose your kids. It says, which is but for a moment. Yeah, it's going to be for a moment because if you understand the scriptures, the Lord said, what? He's going to give... You know, the men that on this side that lost everything, like I said, we really didn't lose everything. But, you know, for the ones that, you know, that uh gave it, you know, gave it all or gave, you know, gave up everything, you know, how about Shemel Shah is going to give that man a hundredfold? You know, and I'm Lord willing, I can go to that scripture. It says, which is more for a moment worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Because ultimately the things that we're going to get, you know, uh, Ultimately, the things we're going to get, you know, is what? Deliverance, you know, the kingdom of heaven. You know, we're going to get women. We're going to have a family. You know, all. how about Shemel Shah is going to give us all those things, you know? So the many ills that we suffer on this side is really what? As it says at the top, a light affliction. One of my favorite scriptures, it says, um, Romans 8 and 18, it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to compare with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Right, so what we're going through on the side is, uh, you know, we're suffering right now. We're taking ails, you know? Because like it says in Sirach 2 and 1, if you come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. So you're going to suffer in this thing. You're going to take many ails. You know, we take these many ails so we can learn from them. So it says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, which is right now, are not worthy to compare with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And what is that glory? Ultimately, salvation, the kingdom of heaven. We're going to we're going to own different planets. We're going to have spiritual power. So the many ails that we take on this side, it's not going to be comparable to that big W. You know what is the big W? Like I said, rulership, Lord willing, we be a part of the hopeful righteous elect that we endure until the very end. That Lord willing, we may be. You know, a part of the uh, the hopeful, uh, the the chosen elect, Salakia. You know, so everything that we go through on this side, you know, it's really small ills. The small ills that we take on this side, it's not going to be comparable to that big W we're ultimately going to get. You know, in the kingdom of uh, uh ultimately going to get later. You know, which is the kingdom of heaven, which is salvation. You know, and pretty much everything else. Uh, I mentioned Sirach, but let me, let me see, can I, uh, pull up the chapter? Yep, this is the book of Sirach 2 and 1, a scripture that I, you know, you know, uh, a lot of the brothers always bring out. This is the book of Sirach 2 and 1. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. Right, so when you come to serve you, how about Shemel Shai? You know, you have to be prepared to take ills. 
You know, because what? You're going to take a lot of L's in this walk. To ultimately, because what? It's ultimately to build you up for that big W. It says, uh, verse 2, it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble. Right? Your heart is a representation of your mind. So on this walk, we have to constantly endure. Every uh, tribulation, every L that we take, you know, we have to keep it moving. You know, we have to keep on, you know, we have to keep on striving, you know, through those L's that we take. You know, we have to endure, you know, uh, that whatever you have about Shemel brings upon us. Because in this walk, you're going to catch a lot of L's. And like I said, it's ultimately to build you up for that big W. It says, verse 3, it says, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. It says, verse 4, Who, Well, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient without our change to a lower state. And us in this walk, you know, uh, right now we're in a lower state, but like I said, it's ultimately to, big, uh, to build us up for that big W, you know? The biggest W to ever be, you know, <laughs> to, to ever be had. You know, that's ultimately, you know, what we're looking for. Lord willing, like I said, we'd be a part of the hope for righteous elect. Oh, so like you. It says, um, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient with our change to a lower state. Right? And right now we're currently in that lower state, but the Al Bashim Yasha is ultimately gonna give us that big uh that big W soon. You know? But all we have to do is endure, you know, those L's that we take. Uh, let me see. Get this one. This is the book of Revelation 3 and 11. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Right. Yeah, how about Shemi Al-Shah is coming quickly. So we have to uh, hold on, you know, to this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It says that no man take thy crown. Because ultimately, you're the only person that's going to take your crown. You know, you can't let these small L's you know, throw you off your game, you know, you know, we have demons come up against us, we have demons, you know, attack our mind, you know, you have demons, you know, come upon, you know, uh, you, when you at your lowest, you know, different things like that, but we have to hold on fast to which is good, which is this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, it says, hold that fast which thou hast, right, this knowledge, wisdom, understanding that no man take thy crown, right, because you're ultimately, you know, you are the only one that's stopping, you know, yourself from getting that W, you know, that no man take uh, take thy crown, right? Because you're the only one that's standing in your own way, you know? So ultimately, we take these L's to ultimately get that big W. So I want to get one more, Lord willing, two more. Let's see how the spirit works. Uh, Let me see something real quick. I'm going to close out with this one. This is the book of Matthew 19 and 29. And it says, um, let me actually pull up this one. This is the book of Matthew 19 and um, see where I'm going to start at. Yep, this is the book of Matthew 19 and I'm going to start at um, 28. It says, And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in, uh, at the throne of his glory. It says, Ye shall, uh, ye also, uh, the Son of Man is talking about Yahweh Shai. It says, When the Son of Man shall sit in the uh, in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve, 12 thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Right, and that's that big W ultimately right there. You know, being a part of the hope for righteous elect, Lord willing we are. You know, you know, you, you know, being a part of the 144,000, you know, you judging, you know, the rest of the nation, the heathen nations also, you know, that's that big W, you know, that we look for, you know, you know, judging the nation of Israel, you know, sitting upon, as it says right here, the 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, with our big brother, Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, leading it. It says, uh, verse 29, it says, and everyone that has forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife. Or children of lands for my sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall uh, inherit and shall inherit everlasting life. And right, that's that big W, you know, because the same thing happened. You know, I always go back to the account of Job, how Job, you know, lost everything. But ultimately, you know, at the end, receiving a hundredfold, he got everything that he lost 
plus 100 more, you know, times whatever he lost. You know, how about Shmuel Shai gave him, you know, uh, everything back double, you know? And that's what we look for, that big W. It says, but many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. But that's pretty much the point, you know. We take these small L's to ultimately get that big W. So, Lord, one, I hope this is edifying. I want to end off by giving all praise to you. How about Shmuel Shai, Bashem Rakakwa Dash? Lord, one, I know it was edifying. And until next time, wah, a baba ball.